Hello, I am Dr. Che and in this video I will introduce you how to how to write to what extent do you agree or disagree essay. As you know this is essay writing course in particular for IELTS and TOEFL exams and in general for any English learner. Please subscribe to my channel, look at the description box for updates and links to my Facebook groups, like and comment to encourage me. Share with other students to help them and subscribe to my channel to get more free courses on vocabulary, grammar, writing, speaking, listening and reading also. My vocabulary and grammar courses are ready on my YouTube channel. Nowadays I am working on writing then I would upload more uh, courses also. Uh, this is an overview of my essay writing course. As you can see I have started from task uh, the four writing assessment criteria then time management, how to plan essay, how to paraphrase and many more videos. Then I would go for each type of essay. And uh, nowadays I am at this the sixth one, to what extent do you agree or disagree essay. I would write more than 15 model essay with explanation and con complete step by step guide. Open playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order. Link is given below in the description box. This is an example uh, question. Today the high sales of popular consumer consumer goods reflect the power of advertising and not the real needs of the society in which they are sold. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Today the high sales of popular consumer goods reflect the power of advertising and not the real needs of social uh, of the society in which they are sold. To what extent do you agree or disagree? This type, of essay, this type of essay can be answered in a similar way. Do you agree or disagree? To what extent do you agree or disagree? This was the question that we are going to discuss in this class. Uh, so this type of essay can be answered in a similar way to do you agree or disagree. I, I have read, already discussed it in my last uh, uh, essay type. So there are three uh, different ways that we can answer this question. Number one is totally agree. Totally agree. You can also say I strongly agree. I completely agree. I totally agree. I totally disagree. I strongly disagree. I completely disagree. And the number th third is partially agree. So there are three types totally agree, totally disagree and partial agree, partially agree. You can use any of these methods to answer the question. The examiner uh, doesn't look at whether you agree or disagree or partially agree. The examiner just wants uh, to see that you have answered the question. They just need the answer to the question. They don't uh, because they are uh, they are going to uh, uh, check your language ability, not your uh, that you your real knowledge uh, that of the topic that you agree or disagree or partially agree. They just need an answer to the question to judge your English uh, language. If you write any of these methods, it would it would not have any difference in your final score. If you can agree, you can disagree, you can partially agree, there will be no difference in your final score due to agreeness or because you, are, you are, uh, agree or disagree or anything. I usually find it easy to agree with these questions. I personally, it is in my personal opinion, I personally find it easy to agree with these questions. Let us discuss how you would write the answer. Number one is completely agree. If you completely agree with the question, you can write introduction. Then reason one, the reason one would be in support of agreement. Reason two would be if you completely agree, then you would write reasons why you because there is only one statement. You would write you would write why you agree with this statement. That you would write introduction. You would write reason one in support of agreement. Reason two, if there is a you think that there are less than 250 in, in IELTS or 300 in TOEFL, then you can write an extra paragraph, uh, reason 3. Then you would write conclusion. 
यू माइट गिव अ स्लाइड टच टू द अपोजिट साइड बट डोंट डिस्कस इट इन टू मच डिटेल दिस इज जस्ट अ स्लाइड टच टू द अपोजिट साइड और सब थिंग डैट यू थिंक इज अपोजिट बट डोंट डिस्कस इट इन टू मच डिटेल बट यू हैव टू इमेजन देर इज नो दे हैव नॉट डिस्कस अपोजिट साइड इन द क्वेश्चन लेट अस डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस इफ यू एग्री हाउ टू राइट द इंट्रोडक्शन This was the question today the high sales of popular consumer goods reflect the power of advertising and not the real needs of the society in which they are sold to what extent do you agree or disagree number 1 would be the background statement you would write a general background statement then you would paraphrase the question and give your opinion in the same sentence you would paraphrase the question and give your opinion in the same sentence you can mention your main reasons or arguments at this place first of all you would write the background statement there is a general statement about the topic general topic or specific topic a general statement then you would paraphrase the question the question that uh, there is a single statement you would paraphrase it in your own words and you would also uh, uh, discuss uh, you would put your own opinion in the same sentence you can mention your main reasons or arguments at this place for example uh, uh, the uh, i agree with uh, the with the opinion then a uh, paraphrase the opinion then there are two reasons because of uh, for example in last or uh, as it was over population and natural disasters so something like that you can mention overview but this is not obligatory uh, you if you write background statement then paraphrase the question give your opinion this is sufficient if you can mention the main arguments main ideas then it would be also fine at the introduction for this it is true that consumerism has peaked in recent years this is uh, the background statement it is true that the consumerism has peaked in re- recent years i strongly agree that advertising is the real stimulus for this emerging trend i really agree that an advertising is the real stimulus for this emerging trend due to two reasons so you can also write uh, write the main ideas for these reasons one reason and uh, are due to uh, for example overpopulation and uh, natural disasters you can mention as overview or you can only say in general like this but don't write this uh, this sentence in this as say i would discuss something and something this looks mechanical and how you would write the conclusion first of all you would write transition signal then you will uh, for example in conclusion i mostly write in conclusion then you would summarize your main ideas or reasons and then you will read state your opinion you would write not only uh, in in conclusion in conclusion a uh, in when you would write a conclusion you would start from transition signal in conclusion comma then start with not only plus first main reason comma then second main reason paraphrase it in different words from introduction and the question so it should be in different words than introduction or conclusion or a, a question task so it be in it should be in different words use different words than introduction or body paragraphs for example in this uh, essay my inc- my conclusion was in conclusion not only then it is inversion here if you don't know what is inversion go to my grammar course not only do the advertisement com- companies pay celebrities to boost their sales not only do the advertisement companies pay celebrities to boost their sales they also create peer pressure to sell their latest products so these are two main reasons i therefore agree that advertisements are more power, powerful than our real needs to convert a community into a consumer society so this is my opinion restatement of my opinion in different words with different para- paraphrasing and these are main ideas of my answer
if you agree with the statement your essay would look like or discuss both sides and give your opinion if you disagree with the statement your essay would look, look like or discuss both sides and give your opinion essay you would write an introduction now you are going to disagree if you disagree it would be like a discuss both sides and give your opinion first of all you would write the introduction then you would write body paragraph one discuss idea presented in that in the task others opinion that you have disagreed with so you would write the disagreement here and the second body paragraph would be your opinion present and expand ideas why you disagree then write the conclusion this is how you would write the essay if you disagree introductions and conclusions would be similar similar to discuss both sides and give your opinion essays the third way is partially agree with the statement you can agree disagree or you can partially agree with the statement so in the third way you you would say if you partially agree with these essays you could also write like or discuss both sides and give your opinion essay here both of the body paragraphs would be your own opinion if you partially agree let me let me tell you again if you partially agree with the essay you could write the essay like discuss both sides and give your opinion essay but here is the difference from discuss both sides and give your opinion essay here both of the body paragraphs sorry here both of the body paragraphs would be your own opinion in the first body paragraph you need to give reasons for some uh, for some points that you agree with in the second body paragraph you need to give reasons for your your partially disagreement so both of them are your opinion why you uh, give you will give reason that uh, the so some points that you agree with and in the second one you need to give reasons for your partially partial disagreement partial disagreement or partial disagreement so i would advise you uh, try to avoid using balanced or uh, partially agreement approach the last one because it is a bit difficult and every every student every candidate cannot write it uh, well you might make mistakes so it would be better either to agree or disagree with the statement some tutors say that you should uh, it is better to disagree that you can write on both sides you can write on one side and then uh, then opposite side that is your disagreement but uh, i would advise you to to agree with the statement that i have done but this is not a 100% rule you can do as you see the question it depends on the question also and uh, your own knowledge also so at the end after watching my complete course essay writing course you would be able to write very good essays uh, but remember don't take a risk don't uh, sit in the exam don't take the exam be, uh, before taking a, a feedback on your writing i would advise you to get feedback from any ielts expert don't, uh, not from me and not from any other i am not advising you for any person i would start my own correction also in the last 6 months of 2021 i would hire an ielts expert from uk we would both work together to provide you advanced comprehensive and cheap writing correction service this is my first facebook id you can ask me any question stay in touch with me if i can start this service earlier also join my facebook group at the end please subscribe to my channel look at the description box for updates and links to my facebook groups like and comment to encourage me share with other students to help them and subscribe to my channel to get more free courses on vocabulary grammar writing speaking listening and reading also thank you very much